In this video, we'll be looking at the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law includes all of the variables needed to completely define a gas. Turns out you already know what these are. They're pressure, volume, moles, and temperature. We also have this thing um, called R. It's the universal gas constant. So this here is the ideal gas law. Let's talk about R. Like I mentioned, R is the universal gas constant. It's a constant, meaning that the number doesn't change. It's always the number. And we'll be giving you that number, so you don't need to memorize it. Let's say we wanted to solve this equation for R. So we want R by itself. That means we'd have to divide both sides by N and T. So it would be PV divided by NT. Now solving for R, that will tell us what the units are on R. Pressure is measured in atmospheres. Volume will be measured in liters. Of course, N is moles. And temperature, of course, has to be in Kelvin. So these will be the units on R. This is the value for R. It is always this number. It's a constant. It's 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole K. So you don't plug anything in here. These are units. So there's nothing. This is not an equation. Nothing gets plugged in here. These are simply just units attached to the R value. And you say it, liter atmospheres per mole K. The only time you say per is when there's a divided sign. You don't say liters per atmospheres per mole per K. You only say per when there's a divided sign. So it's liter atmospheres per mole K. Now, whenever you're going to use the ideal gas law, um, it turns out it's, it's not very difficult to know when. In all the gas laws we've looked at so far, there have been initial conditions and final conditions. Notice there's no um, initial conditions over here and final conditions over here. It's just the pressure, volume, moles, and temperature of a gas. So nothing is going to be changing. So you'll use the ideal gas law when conditions are not changing, when you simply need to solve for an unknown.